Let me ask you a question. What do you call this in your language? Will you please drop it in the comments below? I'm Bosnian and in my language you would call this jaje na oko. Jaje na oko. If we were to translate this word by word, this is what it would look like. Egg on eye. Does that make any sense to you as an English speaker? If you have no context of what I'm talking about, if I told you I want to eat eye on egg, you would be clueless. Another example, if I took the English phrase, it takes one to know one, and translated it word by word into my language and said this to someone from my country, they would have no clue what I'm saying, because it makes no sense. When you take things and translate them word by word and have no other context, in other language they mean nothing. There is a phrase in my country when children leave home, parents usually call and say, Pamet uglavu. When you translate it word by word, it means brain in head. What does that mean when I translate it like this to English? Makes no sense. It would mean something like, watch out, be careful, pay attention what you do, uh, you know, behave. You see how many different, wor different words I have to use to give you a context of what I'm saying. And all that while we are living in the same timeline. We are living in the same century. The Quran was revealed almost 1,500 years ago. A whole different culture, different society, different language. I hope now that makes sense when we say there is no way to compare this translation to the original. Because they are not identical. It's a close attempt to just give you a glimpse of what the Quran is talking about. Have you ever tried translating a joke from one language into another, from one country to another? It could be extremely funny to you in your language and you manage to translate the entire meaning word by word, but the other people are not laughing because there's no context. They don't understand why it is funny. Even though you translated everything, they're still not laughing. You can take any stand-up comedian from America and translate everything that they say in my language. People from my country will not laugh because they don't understand your society. They don't understand your problems. They don't understand the context. So you see, context is extremely important for you to get the whole picture. And this is why we need to read Further, not just the Quran, you need to read the tafsir or the sira, the, the life of Muhammad alayhi salam, the biography, the history, for you to grasp the full picture and understand the whole context. If you found this helpful, please let me know, comment below, and share it with someone who is maybe just now starting with reading the Quran.